welcome to you. We have a bit of a winter wonderland. Look at the scene in front of us now. Not enough snow, I'm glad to report, to jeopardise the game, though we must keep our fingers crossed that it remains that way. There did have to be a pitch inspection, of course, but the referee was quite content that he would be able to make the requisite decisions, see all of the pitch, all of the lines, as he needs indeed to do. So it is, despite this snow, very much business as usual here. The city of Basel, known so much for its beauty, and that beauty certainly extends to the stadium. So off we go then. It's being played forward. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Janusson. Tries to get it forward quickly. Iceland seem ready to just bide their time for the moment. Patience seems to be the operative word. Usai drives it forward. There's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. And it's Goodman's. Looks to clip it forward. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Keeper sends it forward. Tries to get it clear. Plenty waiting in the middle. Forward it goes. Dashing forward at pace. Bjarnason plays it out to the flank. A really good feat from him. Iceland have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. He gets past his man. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Oh, shooting chance! Good effort, and it is right on half-time. Oh, fascinating half, full of talking points, not least that last very, very late one. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. And in 
intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Gets things going for the second half. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Bjarnason looks to thread it through. It's a throw in. Gets into a dangerous position. Xhaka. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Looking to break out here. But Varsen. Gets it back. And now the breakaway. <laughs> that always looked inevitable. Defence dealt with that really well. Driving on, a real charge here. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Shot a goal! Hoists it forward. The ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And it's played forward. Throws it out of harm's way. Goodmanson drives it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. And it's played forward. Iceland merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Tries to locate someone up front. Kusai. There's only one word for this, it, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. And there goes the final whistle. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Albania can always take more positives from a result like this. Yes, there is some tidying up to do, but some real promise too. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you.